welcome to the Astro Imaging Journey channel. Please enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. And in this episode, I'm going to um, the Astro Imaging Channel, TAIC, uh, has the uh, collaboration effort. They're asking everybody to submit their Orion uh, constellation uh, images, videos, projects, uh, whatever the case may be. And I'm going to process uh, the asteroid hunting I did. Now, uh, today is currently February 5th. I captured this data on January 12th. It's been a little bit before I could get to it. Um, and the submission has to be in uh, by February 7th, I believe. So I've got two days to get this done. And so I'm not sure when this video is actually going to air, but it is what it is. <clears throat> so first, let's take a look at the data I collected. And we'll come down here to SGP data. Uh, is it captured? No. Blinked good, asteroids, 112. There's all of our uh, bits, images. As you can see, it's labeled try two. Uh, try one did not work, uh, despite the planning. Um, but this one, I believe, worked when I was doing the live. So let's take a look real quick. Okay, now let's expand this out a little bit. And let's go ahead and do uh, 0.3 seconds and let's loop through it. And right there you can see there's the asteroid that I've uh, used as my point of reference. And just looking through here, I'm just kind of scanning to see if I see anything else. And nothing is popping out. Hopefully when we get this into Astrometrica, something will pop in, but based on this right here, uh, not seeing anything else, but we need to uh, calibrate and align the images. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me stop this. I can get rid of blank. I don't need that anymore. Everything looked okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, calibrate and align these images, and then we'll be back. All right, and we're back. So let's take a quick look here. And converted there. So if I go up, you can see I calibrated, then I aligned. Uh, just, and then the aligned were in the X SIF format, I believe. Scroll that over. And let's just take a look at the properties. XISF. I always get that confused, don't I? Um, which Astrometrica cannot read, so then we converted it over to a FITS file, which it can read. So let's get over to Astrometrica. And let's open up those files. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do a blink. Okay, now I've had this problem before. Everything looks to be a little bit off. And then one pops up here. So we're going to stop. We're just going to step back. 
So two one two seven four five two one two seven four five. I can't close that while it's blinking, so I'm going to close blink. Close that, and we'll re-blink and see what we get. All right, looks like we got another one. One second here. Everyone's removed. Blink it one more time. Okay, that's looking a lot better. So we've got the one image or one star right here. Or not a star. Uh, asteroid. And let's... See if we can zoom in here. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay, there we are. Right in through here. Coming along these stars here. Try to keep my mouse just underneath it. That pops back down. Okay. We got one there. That would be that one there. Continue to scan through here. Okay, so at first glance, I'm only seeing the two. Uh, we'll close the blink. And let's do the data reduction. And we'll be back when this completes. Okay, that took a little bit of time. I had to manually do some manual adjustments because I forgot to set my settings in the beginning. Mainly the uh, camera angle, but that's okay. Now we will look at known object overlay. First, let's blink. And now the known object overlay. Okay, so that has completed and just a touch off, but that's okay. There's a 24, a 19, 19.8, 19.8. Might be able to get some data on that one. Let me zoom this out. So that one's at 21.2, 19, 13, 19.8. I'm going to be, I'm going to do some zooming in on these to see if I can uh, collect any data. If not, um, if I need several asteroids, uh, 14 magnitude or dimmer, and I might only have two that I can actually get in this one. Uh, so I probably won't be able to do any uh, data reporting on this one uh, right now uh, but do need to do some uh, 
zoom in so I can get the shots, so I can do my collaboration slideshow and and all that. So I think as far as this episode is concerned, uh, we're pretty much done. What I'm going to do right now is once I get the video uh, all completed or the slideshow, whatever you want to call it, that I'm going to submit to the Astro Imaging channel. Um, <clears throat> I will put that on the screen right here and we'll see how it turned out. You let me know if you liked uh, this in the comments. The, you know, the, the whole episode was just a mismatch of, hey, let me just get this done. Um, and uh, what I'd like to know is, what do you think of the video slash slideshow that I'm submitting to uh, TAIC for their Orion Constellation collaboration effort? Uh, let me know in the comments if you thought it was at least an inter interesting exercise. Um, so with that, I'm going to say thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, clear skies and have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another video from the Astro Imaging Junior channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video we've uploaded. In our lower right, we have what YouTube might think you would enjoy. And in the lower left is our subscription button. Please like this video, subscribe if you so choose. As always, clear skies, have a good one, and remember Duke.